Ladies and gentlemen, I played Archon Holy Priest on the War Within Beta and I must say I'm very pleasantly surprised. In this video we're gonna talk how the gameplay feels and the main talents that you're gonna be taking in this spec. The main source of playing Archon Holy Priest revolves around you casting your Halo spell which is then recasted two more times in the next 10 seconds. This is made even better by your capstone talent which makes the Halo converge back onto you, hitting everyone for a second time on its way back including both allies and foes. This of course looks amazing since you get this pulsating Halo coming out and going back to you. But it's also quite powerful. Halo was my main source of damage at the end of the run and it was one of the top 3 spells in my healing breakdown. And although people consider this to be a glorified hot effect, it actually does a lot of work. Especially when you consider some of the other talents that come along with it. First and foremost you get a stacking buff increasing your healing on everybody that gets hit by the halo, which lingers for 8 seconds after the last hit. Now this sounds more like a raid buff, but it's actually pretty good in dungeons as well because you get almost 20 seconds of uptime for this and the cooldown of the spell is 1 minute. It gets even better though as each halo grants you a surge of light. Those are the instant cast flash heals that are now empowered by 30% due to other talent that you pick up. So you get to spam these on people that are already taking increased healing from you based on the talent that I showed you previously and every time you consume one of the surges of light you reduce the cooldown of your holy word sanctify which is your big AoE heal. You also get a choice node which can either increase your damage and healing of all of your halos by 30% and this is probably something that I should have picked because holy priest is the healer that I played the least so I'm not the best holy priest around to put it this way and I don't get much value out of apotheosis. However the other choice node is probably better in that direction as it increases the duration of apotheosis and considering that you have another node that you always pick which simply increases your healing by 10% while apotheosis is active, you can get a lot of value during this cooldown. Now before we jump into conclusions, let's briefly look into some of the other nodes that you have available. Considering how many wasted talents and nodes some of the other hero talent packs actually have, Archon Holy Priest is somewhere in the middle of the pack. Your defensives gives you 5% stamina and that's you only because of your powered fortitude buff, which is not great but it's better than let's say what a Void Weaver Discipline Priest gets. And you have a node that gives you extra haste because of your power infusion and that's you again only. That node is probably much better for Shadow Priest but we'll take it. And then you have the useless pvp node, which one of the choices is actually something that could see some usage in mythic plus. It recasts your fear 4 seconds later on the same location, pretty much the same thing as the shamans have uh, with their capacitor totem. And since fear is on a separate dr from the stuns, you can get lucky and interrupt some extra casts with those duplicated fears. So as I said, those nodes are not great but they're better than what some of the other classes are getting, so I guess it's okay. The natural question of course is how good is Archon Holy Priest and how does it compare to Oracle? The gameplay actually is quite good and a lot of fun, with the numbers provided by the extra halos being there at the end to justify playing this. Pressing the halo button actually feels amazing because you get the extra healing, you get the surges of light and you feel kinda overpowered in those 10, 15 to 20 seconds with all the buffs provided from the other talents. However, I have a little bit of criticism here because outside of the halo, the rest of the gameplay feels a little bit dry. All the talents and all the buffs that you're getting are either connected to the halo or the apotheosis. So in the windows while you're waiting one of those two to come back off of cooldown, it kinda feels like there is nothing going on. Having said that though, Halo is a pretty short cooldown, it's just one minute, so that's something we can get used to pretty quickly. And I'm saying get used to because I used to play Divine Star all the time. That's something that you cannot do anymore. All those talents revolve around the Halo which you need to pick and it's a choice note with Divine Star. 
So from that perspective, this hero talent tree is very restrictive and I think they could have done something to incorporate the Vine Star as well, but that's a spell with completely different cooldown, so at the end of the day, it is what it is. Before we talk about raiding, let's mention the other hero talent option that you have as a holy priest, Oracle. I'm not going to make a separate video for it, because basically I have nothing good to say about it, but that doesn't mean it's actually bad. It gives you a blessing of summer type of spell that changes every time you cast it, and it gives you different buffs every time. Long story short, if you min-max the usages of that spell, you can probably outperform Archon any time of the day. However, for someone like me who plays the priest as an ult, the Oracle gameplay style is just overly complicated, and I'd rather have some fun and play something like Archon. Out of the two specs, Archon is probably better suited for M+, anyway, I think it's going to perform quite okay in raid as well, with the pulsing halos doing a lot of healing, and definitely being the easier option of the two to play, but I think it's also going to get easily outperformed by a good Oracle Holy Priest, which is timing their premonitions correctly. The only question is, how big is going to be that gap between the two hero specs? And in case it's not something humongous, I'm definitely going to pick Archon as my weapon of choice. Regardless, let me know what do you guys think in the comments below and also check the rest of the videos on this channel, including a Void Weaver Discipline Priest gameplay review as well as some of the other hero talent specs for healers in the war within beta. I'll see you guys there, now get out of here.